Hello, welcome to the stewardship update uh, video. We're not giving numbers right now because we are gonna wait for the final numbers coming in. Um, we keep receiving more pledges and we're hopeful that we'll get even more participation between now and Sunday. So Kevin Arvold, our council president, will be announcing on Sunday what the final numbers came to be. We're getting closer to our goal. We're not there yet. With your help, we can make a difference. And even if you can't help right now, let us know that. The more people that can participate in helping us know where we're at, the better off this community of faith will be in figuring out what we can do with Peace Ministries. So whatever, however you can communicate with us, it really matters. Here is one more story with one more reason why it's important to support Peace Ministries. Thanks for being a part of this. You matter. We really appreciate what you have to offer. Thank you. Hello, fellow members of Peace. My name is Heidi Goddard. My husband, Tom, and I, along with our three children, have been members of Peace for the past 20 years. I would like to take a few minutes to share with you why we have decided to increase our giving in this most recent stewardship campaign. But please keep in mind I am much more comfortable talking to a classroom full of three-year-olds than I am in this forum. When our children were younger, they attended Sunday school and vacation Bible at school at Peace. Then they went on to attend First Communion and Confirmation classes at Peace. Those were very busy times for us, as you can imagine. Eleven years ago, I started teaching at Peace Lutheran Preschool. It has been a joy to be there this whole time. As our children grew up, went off to college, they became, of course, we became less active at Peace. But I was still able to see all of the wonderful things that were happening within the walls of Peace Lutheran Church when I was at school every day. And then COVID hit, and it was quiet, and it was dark. The preschool was able to reopen after a few months with masks and all of the restrictions that went along with COVID, but the church remained dark. There was no quilting in Fellowship Hall, no coffee and chocolates, no Wednesday night kids running around the building, which used to drive me crazy, I admit it. No families bonding over a meal on Wednesday nights. And I missed it. And I wondered, what will happen? What would happen to kids without those wonderful opportunities that mine had to walk over from the high school during finals and take a break? For young families to gather, meet other young families, for our seniors to reconnect. And with all of those things in mind, Tom and I recommitted to our giving to peace and hopefully to our attendance as well. And those are our reasons. Those are my reasons. They might not be yours, but I hope that you can find it within your heart to either increase your giving or start giving. Every gift matters. Thank you. There are a few different ways that you can return your pledge form to us. You can give us a call. You can email us. As for the physical copy of the pledge form, many of you were sent this in the mail, so you can mail it back to us. You can drop it off in person at church. We have a, a nice little box for you. Um, if you did not receive one of these in the mail, you can pick one up in the Narthex. As for those who would prefer to do an online form, we do have that for you. We have a link for our online pledge form. We also have links to our online giving portal where you can update that to reflect what you're pledging. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of those that have pledged and all of those that will pledge. We are doing Christ's work together. We are partners together in this ministry. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for participating. We look forward to seeing you as we begin on Sunday with the celebration of 50 years of Peace Ministries. <laughs>